In this video, I show you how to set up the Beats to Q feature in Rekordbox DJ. Find out how, coming up. Thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. So before I explain how to set up Beats the Q in Rekordbox DJ, let me explain what Beats the Q is. Beats the Q is a function that you can find now in Rekordbox DJ that I found very useful in Traktor Pro that lets you know how many beats and bars are between your cue points. So this can be helpful if you set up your cue points the way I do where you have one at the very beginning of an intro, halfway through, and then the end of the intro when vocals come in. And you can also set it up for the chorus so you know how long the chorus is, or hook, or breakdown, or whatever significant part of the song there is. So in my case, this song has an 8 bar intro, and I have a, a second cue point set up halfway, which would be 4 bars, and another cue point set up at the end of the intro, which would make it 8 bars. So in Record Box DJ, Beats the Cue can be found right here, uh, right below the waveform. Notice right now it says negative 0, 0.0 bars. It's because I'm actually um, before the first cue point. So let me go ahead and start the track at the cue point, and you'll see now I started it. Now you can see that it says four bars to the next cue point, which is correct, because once it passes this, it would be three three bars and three beats, one more, three bars and two beats, etc. So let's start that cue point over again. You see how it counts down? If you have your cue points set up where everything is on beats and grids, uh, this can be very helpful. So there, again, the... Let me get this right. Okay. Boom. There, once again, it reset to uh, three because it passed this cue point and then it's going to the next cue point. So like I was saying earlier, if your cue points are set up on a grid and on like the first beats and phrases, this can help you quick mix because you know exactly, okay, I have four bars on this intro and there's four bars left in this phrase on the track that's already playing and I can mix it in very fast. It's kind of how I, I utilize this when I'm quick mixing a lot, like when I'm playing open format sets, going from song to song very quickly. Uh, because I know how many bars and beats I have left uh, from track to track, I know that the transition transitions are going to be smooth and the phrasing is going to be correct. So now that you have an understanding of how to set up uh, Beats the Cue, let me go through the process. So first, switch to export mode in Rekordbox DJ. And this is where you set up your, uh, your tracks and set up your grids and your um, hot cues, etc. So let me go to a track I know that doesn't have Beats the Cue set up. Oh, actually, hold on. Let me take a step back. So for Beats the Cue to work, you, you'll need memory cues uh, programmed, not just hot cues right here, which you would find on the CDJ or a controller uh, as like cue buttons, but you're going to need memory cues as well. That's how uh, Rekordbox CJ uses Beats the Cue, and that's how it knows exactly where the next cue is. It's the memory cues, not the hot cues. So let me go through, say this song, load this guy in, oh, notice I have hot cues here, but no memory cues here, right? So let me go back to performance mode, and you'll see there's no number right here. So even though I have the hot cues set up, because I have no memory cues, the beats the cue function will not work. So I'm currently on the first beat. So let me turn quantize on. This will help make sure everything's on beat. I'll go ahead and hit memory. And then I know my next cue point is 16 beats away or four bars right there. Hit cue again, hit memory. Repeat the process one more time for that third cue point. And now, let me go back to cue point A. Oh. Go back to performance mode. Now because I have the memory cue set up, now I have the, the readout right here for beats the cue. So. And 
and it works perfectly fine. So that's how you set up Beats the Queue for each song. The last step is you're going to want to go into your preferences. And then you're going to want to go to View. And towards the bottom right here, under Beat Count Display, you're going to want the count to next memory queue bars. This will give you not only just beats, but bars and beats together, which is to me the most useful. Beats is good if you're just, you know, used to counting in just beats instead of saying like four bars, saying 16 beats. But uh, I personally use beats and um, bars because it does beats and bars in the readout. Uh, once again, this is how you set up Beats the Queue. Super helpful feature, especially if you're just starting out like DJing open format hip hop pop and you want to know the phrasing. Because the phrasing in most of this music is the same in the structure of the, the verses and the choruses, this will help you uh, kind of guide you in how to get started in that and how to phrase it correctly. So that's how you set up Beats the Q in Recordbox DJ. So question of the day, is Beats the Q an important feature to you? And if so, how do you use it? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments. And as always, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And thank you for watching P.TV, where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.